I just want to talk and speak social media marketing real quick. I've yet to drop like a good five, ten minute banger. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to drop a five, ten minute banger on this social media shit. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to fuck you up right now with this social media shit. You're lucky I don't have a pencil and a paper. But you are unlucky because I got one within arm's reach. Sheesh, that was smooth. Almost as smooth as that hit. Let's continue. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes you got it like that. <laughs> when you got it like that, you got it like that. That's all I'm saying. Let me explain to you. So look, look we'll just go right off the, the top the top post on my post. Shout out to Custom Trends. She's amazing. She's enjoying Mardi Gras right now. She just uh, put me in her magazine, Custom Trends, which is a beautiful magazine. NASCAR racers, country western stars. That girl, I don't know how she got in there before me, but we'll talk about that later, you know what I'm saying? I've never even seen a buff Asian woman, but we're just gonna leave that at that. I don't know how she got that goddamn big. But then we get to me, you know? So we're gonna focus on me. In Custom Trends, shout out to Custom Trends. Beautiful magazine. As you can hear, the quality, the quality magazine, obviously is gonna be added to my beautiful, lovely wall. Magazine. But let me explain to you something when it comes to the social media side that I'm this is how I blow your mind this is how I this is how I connect you from the reality that that you think you are to the perspective of what's really happening and 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 there's and there, it, there is two diff, there is two different things so there is personal right there's this line that goes down the paper which the line ain't very fucking straight There's personal, and we're just gonna put biz, all right? Personal and biz, all right? Personally, personally, there is personal brand, all right? So there's personal brand, and then there's, we're just gonna put personal, personal. Personal, personal. And then there's biz brand, or there's biz personal, and then there's biz brand. I love how my fucking brain creates this shit out of nowhere. Is anybody else amazed when they do something? And like, I've never did this before. But this simple fucking breakdown to me is fucking... Like, what? But I can explain everything with this. I gotta stop looking at this fucking post, though. That's for damn sure. Custom trends, cool. I <laughs> can't look at that goddamn shit for forever. <laughs> but this, this is the real shit. This is the raw shit right here. This should blow your mind. This should fuck you up. Just that concept should fuck you up right here. Just that. Right now, what's up, dude? Yeah, hey, absolutely appreciate you. Um, of course, my son's in my background. Freaking Gen Z water. Gen Z doesn't want to have anything to do with, like, you don't want to be sponsorship, but, like, you're on my background, Gen Z. Know that shit. Let's get back to business. Because all that was personal, personal. You see? Mmm. Fucking love that I wrote that down just now. Fuck, I love that I wrote this down. This is about to be, this is, this is about to be a whole book right here. No cap. Oh, I'm so grateful I wrote this. I'm so. This is why I went live just now because I gotta talk about this shit real quick for you guys because I, I just I'm not okay with you guys not being enlightened. These are all different conversations. So when I ask you, are you here for business? Are you here for personal? I need to know what side you're on. You you need to know what side you're on. You need to know what side you're on. Because for the longest time, the majority of you guys are in business personal. You're, we are in business personal. I'm using my art 
for business, but it's personal to me. So I'm only I'm only willing to go outside of certain guidelines as an artist because I'm using business to personal. I've been doing it wrong. I've been needs my personal, and I need to go into the brand side of this. Actually, shit, there's one more. Bro, but brand is business though, so I guess I could use the word brand, but I, I like brand and business being in, interchangeable. Because sometimes brands are brands and they're not and they're not businesses and well all brands are in a sense business because it's under, but it's just different. If you're if there's just two I got there's two different ways I need I wanna break that down to, to, to have people understand when it comes to like okay, I guess there's Events, which is business. I mean, okay, so when I say business, I mean events like like physical, physical, physical. Business is physical. Brand is more like it's virtual almost. At, it's fucking today's age, it's virtual. It's virtual, and I, mean, I guess it could be physical, but because you could physically go show something at a convention, etc., etc. But convention to me is business. That's business. When you say I want to go to a convention, that is business, which means I ask you, if your personal branding, then you need to understand numbers. If your personal personal, you won't you're not gonna get to a convention. That's what I, t I try to tell people. Hey, if you, this is where all of this breaks down to when you start understanding that how social media is ran, construction and broken down, you understand why Snickers, Google. YouTube, all of those people are at the top. Why? Because it's business to business to them. That's why. The person who created YouTube, it's not personal to personal. He doesn't give a fuck about YouTube. He, he, it's his business to business. And if not, it's personal to business. So he doesn't let his personal side get in the way of the YouTube side. What I mean is like if you're out there doing a brand, a lot of your personal gets in the way from understanding the business and the branding side of this. You're doing personal to personal, which I mean, which, what is an example of this? If I post a picture of this fucking drink, that's personal, unless it's branding. Unless you're sponsored by them, you posting for them is personal. The brand does not know, so it's personal. Now, if you're looking for a like, a comment, a fucking follow, that is personal to personal. That is a that is a personal conversation that I am not talking about. Uh, 99% of the time, I am not talking up to a person. If we met online here and it's person, if you're a person, the personal person, I'm not talking to you. The information I'm trying to get you is from a person to understand business, to get them somewhere. It's not to do personal. That's to do with business. It's personally I'm talking to you. But you're understanding that you're on the business side of this because we're getting somewhere. So it's personal to business. It's not personal to personal. So everything I'm talking to you, you can't take it personal unless you're in the personal to personal situation, which I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to find the people who are personally somebody who understand what they're doing to change this into the business side because this is what the social media is going to. Next week, Instagram will now allow, allow you to buy check marks. So yeah, I take that a little fucking personal. It's made me t took me uh, 12 years to get my check mark for my blood, sweat, tears to understand marketing, to understanding how to get to where I've gotten to to get across the world, like on my own accord, no manager. It took me a it took me a lot, blood, sweat, tears, really, literally broken bones. It took me a lot. So now that everybody's gonna go to get this check mark, and now we're equal, which is cool for me. I want equality. That's why I'm promoting my panel. I want equality. The thing that you're gonna have to understand is. If you have ten thousand, if you have a thousand followers with a check mark, now you still fall under the category of not viral. Not you need to be able to. The next piece of this, is without buying with with buying the check mark, okay, cool. Like you're a fucking company, you bought the check mark. You have five hundred followers, you bought the check mark. How do you still gain the traction? How do you still gain the credibility? How, you need to get your numbers up. And what I'm telling you is. The people like me, the artists, the creators, the pioneers that have been doing this personal to personal the last decade, we have been getting this business side fucked up. All of these awards on my wall, personally, all my awards, like that was personal. That was without me understanding business. And let me explain to you exactly how this changed. I did all of this for free, personally. Business-wise, 
Company C, ROI. What is ROI? Return of investment, which means if you take your personalness and you drop the, I, I, they should like it, they should not like it. I'm the first, I'm not the first, and you eliminate that and you approach it to a brand or a business side, you understand that this panel and getting your numbers up has nothing to do with personal, it has to do with business. Why do you need your numbers up? You need your numbers up because of businesses say, hey, when we see your numbers are up, that sees ROI, which means we're gonna send you whatever we want, we're gonna pay you. The higher your numbers are up, the higher the ROI is to that company, the more brand, the higher your check is. That is going, That's what I, so it's not personal to personal. Personal to personal is you asking, are the followers real? Are the, oh, what, 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 what the fuck is going on here? I'm not talking to you personally. We know the, are you outside on a fucking studio right now? Are you at a stage where people, no, you're not. So we're not talking about that. We're talking about business. We're talking about personally, I'm talking to you because you're my friend, I saw you grinding and you should be at millions. I know why you're not at millions, you don't know why you're at millions. You convince yourself you're not good enough. We're not talking about that. What I'm saying is you are good enough. Do you wanna understand the business side of this? We're going from personal to business, not, not personal to personal. This is what the whole conversation comes down to. It's like when I'm talking to someone, they think I'm talking to them as a person, like, no, 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 I don't, I don't got nothing against you personally. But what I do know now is I understand it, what it looks like business-wise, and now I understand why someone is not broke that has a million followers. Why someone is not broke, or imagine when I say one million followers, I'm saying less than $500. So like let's let's just take this up, let's just take this in context. A million followers when it goes to personal, one million. Down here, if it's person to person, you're gonna say, I don't have a million followers. Oh, whoa, what? We're not talking about you. We're talking about personally, you got somewhere to be somebody. That means you're gonna go out and you're gonna sing and you're gonna be the drummer and you're gonna be the artist because you're bomb. You, you, you should have it already. So we're not gonna talk about you undoing. You having a million followers on your profile is not gonna undo your art. You're not gonna suck now. But what it does is it now goes from, it goes from personal to business. You cross the line over of, oh man, this guy is worth money. This guy needs to be booked. This guy has nothing to do with personal to personal. It has to do with, are you willing to bend a little or understand the business side of how the money, of how the money goes around at the top. They say if you spread the money out, it's gonna go back to the same people. So you need to understand how to get some of that money from them. You don't gotta break yourself, because you know who you are, but you still need to understand to get it. And I'm gonna explain why, how. That's what happened to me, personal story. I was stuck at 60K for the longest time. I have over 5,000 sponsors, over 5,000. Everything in my motherfucking house, my underwear, my fucking socks, my shoes, my shampoo, my body wash, everything for the last five, six, seven, eight, nine years, I haven't bought water in 10 years. I haven't bought a single thing in 10 years. And I just imagine, to put that in perspective, every time you went to the store and, and you buy, it's like, uh, okay, okay, so look, well, let's do this real quick. Okay, let's do this real quick. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Don't go nowhere, please do not go anywhere because I'm screen recording this. Please do not go nowhere. I'm, I got a, I'm screen recording this, you know, because all instructive purposes, right? So as I'm speaking about this, somebody just comes in and they say I only got li uh, seven live viewers. So what I'm gonna show you is just like if you had five, if you had $5,600, you would be able to have as many live viewers as um, six, nine. I'm gonna show you how all of this stuff online is all complete bullshit. So when your rappers, your friends, your family, and they go live and they got all these hundreds of thousands, I'm gonna show you right now, I'm literally gonna put 50 followers on my live feed right now. So this guy who says seven, he doesn't realize I can make it say whatever number I want. So I just paid zero, I just paid 47 cents for 50 live viewers with comments and interactions. So let me screen record this real quick. Stop countdown. All right, so that guy probably left. He just came in and he said there's seven live viewers. They always, they went away. So I just put the live viewers back there so he could understand that it is literally a method. Everything that you've been seeing or witnessing, and remember, I, I've been doing this for 10 years and I thought when I went in live and they had 50,000 people watching a rapper, I thought it was real. I did too. So I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong for this. I'm saying we are late on this is what I'm saying. That's the key. So we are late on this situation. So going back to the 60,000, this is what I did it, right? There was no value there at all. Like the value was 
okay, 60,000. Remember, I got 60,000 followers. So if you don't got 60,000 followers, which I should just not screen, just stop screen recording that because it finally went up, which took me, it, which took two seconds to do. So, which it took two, less than two seconds to get it there. So, you know, congratulations. Ooh, I can have whatever number you want. Whatever number you want, you can put it there. It doesn't matter. Whatever. But that's not the key. The key is the real people. The key is you want real people. But again, watch this. So from personal to business-wise, what this guy just did was my friends and my family, they're personal to personal. Business-wise, me paying 46 cents puts the followers there. Guess what happens? Everybody else on the personal side now comes in because they want to see what I'm talking about. So like, it, it, it's all the game. So like, thank you for letting me play the game. I didn't feel like doing it for a second, whatever. I was, I was focusing on something else, but I don't mind. 60 people watching me while I express this because it's gonna make me express this shit a lot better. I, I take it out right now compared to two, but at least I knew somebody was watching that was real. Long story short, 60, I did this for 10 years. 60,000 followers is where I got to, 5,000 sponsors, blah, blah, blah. All of these brands and businesses, remember, this is personal to me. I was not understanding the business side. So personal, personal, personal. I was like, I got the 60,000. You guys are sending me shit, you're sending me shit, but everything was free. I said, you know what? Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. I got seven books, three world records. Maybe it's me. It can't be me. What am I? What am I failing to do? They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing every single day and expecting different results. So you know what? Let's do something else. Let's research something. Who does The Rock use? Who does Elon Musk use? Who does Ye use? Who does TMZ use? Who does Eminem use? Who does NBA use? And then I tracked it all down and got down to the sources. Oh, so what this is, it has nothing to do with personal to personal. Personally, The Rock, Elon, Ye, TMZ, Eminem, NBA, NCAA, B, NASA, Harvard, Yale. I don't give a fuck who you want to name. Personally, Richard Branson. I, uh, it don't matter. Starlink, Tesla. Personally, they are not caring about what you think. Personally, they are jumping into the branding side of this, which means if they, you want to take them serious, they can't be equal to you. They can't be equal to me. If, if Tesla had 500,000 followers and Ford Motors had 500,000 followers, who are you trusting? Who are you paying money to? Who are you leaning towards? Exactly. This is the reason why you don't know. This is the reason why I didn't know. And this is the reason why we are late. We are 12 years late on this. So all the artists, all the entrepreneurs, everybody who has been taking life so fucking serious, personally, you guys have literally skipped and stopped and resisted the business side because you know why? I'm contacting all my artist friends and I'm gonna tell you how we finish this off in closed circle is what I said. Remember, I got the 60K, which is a lot more than a lot of artists out there because they weren't on the viral or they didn't get on the panel viral. Remember, World Star, ESPN, Sports Center, they're on a panel, which means no, if they, you got 36 million and you get shared, no, guess what? It costs a dollar and 40 cents to give you that 10K and you shut the fuck up. Very simple. Let's not start with the process. There's no such thing as viral. Viral is a panel. Let's not go there. So free, free, free. So the only thing was different was this, was what? I didn't I didn't do more. I didn't say more. I didn't do none of this more. What was the difference of personally me getting the 60k with all of this shit for free to me now receiving money for everything the fuck that I do the rest of my life? You want to know what the fucking difference was? It was the fucking number. It was a number from 60K. I'm now I'm at 250K from that number. I did not do more. I broke my fucking arm. I did not do more. I did not say more. I did not do shit. No, I lived in my car during that time. Like I went through the shit during this 60K. No, 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 no. This and now, and now, and now I'm, I did all of it. And now I'm going to Rome and I got five motherfuckers just kicking. Yeah, okay, so I'm telling you motherfuckers right now. I'm not talking personal no more. I'm talking business-wise. Because when you, it don't matter what you touch or what you use, when they bring the conversation to the owner or the CEO, they look back and they say, who is this guy? 
Who is this girl? And remember, at that time, personally, you're not in front of them. You're not being able to say, oh my gosh, I love your product so much. I fucking use it every single day. You're not allowed to say that. So what do they do? What are they looking at? What are they looking for? They don't know you. They're looking for your number. Your number. Same thing, reason why this kid came in about 20 minutes ago and said you have two viewers. It's because he came in looking for the numbers. I have a 12 year old son. He don't give a fuck. If the number does not say millions, he's not watching the video. To him, it's not worth it. To society, didn't deem it important. So stop taking this shit personal and being told your stuff's not important because you don't want to understand the business side. That's what I'm saying. And I did 10 years of that. You think my wall is, you think my wall is full now? I did all this because I didn't want to understand business. Now that I understand all of this shit came with no money, 10 years, less than $10 a day, no budget. I didn't care or understand. I resisted the business side. A lot of my artists and entrepreneurs are resisting the business side. I get conversations like this. Is it real? Are they real? Whoa. It, 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 all that shit's personal, man. Personally, you've been doing this shit the last 10 years and you didn't get nowhere. Are you trying to get to the next spot? Because the next spot, you better learn business. And business 101 says that your numbers need to be up or no one fucking trusts you. If you're a tattoo artist, if you're a massage therapist, if you sell anything, I'm letting you know in society, if you have less than 100,000 followers, you do not expect to be bought out. Let me explain why. People, and, I, and I'm talking about when you, when you get in the bio and you understand how deep this is, you are going to be disgusted. You should be disgusted. If you're an artist, if you're a current creator, if you're an entrepreneur out there, you should be absolutely disgusted. If you're a marketer, you're an advertiser, and you're a brander out there, you are, you, I just gave you the magic lamp to get anything that you want from any person when it comes to brand and marketing. I gave you the lamp. I put those people there. I'll put a thousand there. I could put 10,000 there. Do you understand marketing aspect? You don't think that I'm gonna, you don't think that I put this here, screenshot this and send it to these people? Yes, I do. And guess what? That 46 cents is worth a case of these. Google a case. A case is $50. So I paid 46 cents to make $50. So we're, we, we can't start on like, not that's personal. Somebody personally, personal to personal, someone would say, oh, they're real people. I don't give a fuck about that. That's personal. Business-wise, they don't give a fuck, and they're not going to ask me that. They want to see that number fucking grow. They don't give a fuck where they came from. We don't got time to ask where all these people come from or where they didn't come from. We don't have time for that. We want to see the number move. The number needs to move. doesn't matter how or when or why. That's what you guys have been giving trust and credibility to is the numbers. And let me give you an example why. Snickers is not the best chocolate. Go to a farmer's market. I know you seen, I know you went and seen a grandma and grandpa's fucking chocolate. That shit is better than, but why would Snickers ever give mom and grandpa and grandma the fucking ability? The difference is that Snickers got millions of followers and grandma and grandpa don't even know how to get on social media and they don't know the option because guess what? For less than $500, grandma and grandpa can have the same followers as Snickers you don't think that grandma and grandpa's not about to be in a Target? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. Grandma and grandpa's shit's going up. And it has nothing to do with personal to personal. It has to do with grandma understanding, yo, business-wise, you cannot walk up with your delicious-ass candy bar to Target or Walmart and say, I want in. They're going to say, well, who's going to buy it? Well, who's going to buy it, fucking Grace? Grace is going to be like, oh, you know, like, I... I, I Fuck out of here, Grace. There's a million of you fucking grandmas making goddamn chocolate bars. Let Grace walk up to that motherfucking march up with a million followers with her fucking candy bar. Yeah, who's gonna buy it? I right, check my social media out. Damn, they got more fucking social media followers than whoever they're approaching. It's a different conversation. The respect level's given. So personal to business, please stop skipping on that. You, I'm not saying change who you are. You are who you are no matter what. Accept who you are. Be who you are. Fucking flaunt that shit. But do not let it get it twisted on especially – this is specifically for social media. Social media is a fucking game. You so funny, bro. You so funny, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Dead ass. 
if I told you guys that Jesus told me to tell you all of this, you would you would absolutely come into the church, bro. Absolutely. You would come into the church, bro. Psalm 119. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless. Stop blaming people. No, I'm not gonna lie. I've never read the Bible. A fan sent me that Bible. That was probably actually the only. That was probably the first line I ever read in that Bible. No cap. That was the. That was the very first line that I read in that Bible, and I've had that Bible for over two years. I've never opened it. I've had it though. I've had it. I didn't grow up religious. I didn't grow up with any kind of religion. My dad was the, actually the first church that I that I went to was a Mormon church because they had a basketball team. My dad was racist. I'm from down south Louisiana. My whole fucking family's racist. I don't fuck with none of them goddamn people. Fucking whatever. Um, and I used to have I used to have a basketball. And every time I played basketball, my dad used to pop the basketball. So I used to have to hide the basketball. And our, this Mormon church had a basketball court inside there, dog. So I convinced I convinced my fucking dad to let me go to this Mormon church. And he said the minute that they asked me if to get baptized, I had to leave. Of course, they asked me every fucking time if I'm trying to get baptized. I said, no, 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 but I wanted to play on their basketball team. Long story short. They let me play on the kids and the adult league, so that was fire. Like, the Mormons are fucking dope. Mormons are dope. I fuck with Mormons. I fuck with Mormons a lot, to be honest. Mormons are dope. But we're all people. So remember, the conversation I had inside there is we are people, right? Like, when the robots, they're here. When that motherfucking robot starts hitting your ankle at 100 miles an hour, you're going to have to ne knock next door. So I think racism will start going down. Talking off this side, personal wise, I think racism and all that stuff will start going down. When the robot knocks on your motherfucking door trying to beat your ass, you're going to have to go in the backyard and meet up with your neighbor that you didn't want to fucking meet up with. His name was fucking Hank because guess what? Hank got chainsaws and fucking Hank got fucking baseball bats and you're going to need something to kill the robots with. So it's not going to be so much of black, white, brown anymore. It's going to be fucking yo. You got a heart. I got a heart. Let's fuck. Let, we got to talk because this robot is trying to fucking kill us, man. So we don't got time to fucking figure out what the fucking O block, D block, B block, bitch. The motherfucker's coming for every block, bitch. He's coming for every block. You know what I'm saying? He's going to take me out. He's going to take you out. He's going to say, can we come together and maybe shut down all the blocks now? You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Now they're all together. It went from like, fucking, you can't go down this street to this street to no bitch. Like, hey, you got that street over there? Y'all motherfuckers good? Y'all motherfuckers good over there? You got that side? That's, you know, so the racism and shit, racism, I mean, we'll, we'll go away. I thought it was going to go away when... The aliens came, but fucking long story short, aliens is the word. We could be aliens, whatever, pets or animal species, like all those things were created by man by word. So like, we got all, whatever, we're not going to go off that shit. We definitely probably already have the aliens here, so that that's a little far-fetched. Let's go off of the real shit happening right now. You got a robot vacuuming in your house. If that motherfucker starts just turning on and going 100 miles an hour in every fucking direction, yo ass better have some agility. It's breaking grandma's ankles for sure. Grandma cannot move that fast. What I'm saying is when you, if you agile and you youthful, you better be training because grandma can call you and say, yo, the robot vacuum, I'm sitting on the fucking kitchen countertop and the robot vacuum is going a hundred miles an hour. I cannot leave. I cannot. Yeah. What your ass going to do now, motherfucker? You better. Hey, hey, you got to call your motherfucking name. You better have your neighbor's fucking phone number because the, remember, you didn't want to have your neighbor's phone number because you're racist, right? So you didn't want to fuck with them. You better fucking have the goddamn neighbor's phone number now. You got these robotic shit in your motherfucking house. You might need some help. You know what I'm saying? So racism will start going down now that we got robots, dog. I believe. My, that's my opinion, bro. You're not going to fight each other when you try to have a robot fuck with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, it, you know what I'm saying? If you get approached by a robot, you, I don't give a fuck what races are next to you. You're going to look at each other like, yo, bitch, we taking this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it ain't going to be like... Bitch, what block you from? We good? We gonna, we gonna partner up? Nah, 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 nah. It's gonna be a look like the human beings gonna have a look against human You know, human beings can just look at another human being like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but the robot about to get that ass. So it's, how can you be racist? Like, how could you not be able to look at another human being knowing that you gotta take on this robot when you got, you can't, we can't be worried about two different, nah, we're not, we're not doing that, I don't believe. I don't believe that it's gonna get so fucked up that like, nah. I believe that it'll be the robots are the ones that are going to be the ones that we'll focus on. It'll be human beings versus the robots. That's my that's my belief. That's what I see it. That's what I see it. I don't know. And I'm not gonna say it's all robots, but I'm gonna say like we're gonna have we're gonna hear some shit in the news where these robots gonna be killing people for sure. Like I'm talking about like a robot accidentally pushed a man off a balcony and shit like shit like that. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, I'm, I, I believe we're gonna read shit like that all the time. Oh yeah, uh, robot vacuum. Yeah, took off the charger at 100 miles an hour and broke grandma's ankles. Absolutely, I believe the motherfuckers are gonna be tapped into and the motherfuckers are gonna go way faster than what they regulated to go right now. Them motherfuckers, hell nah. That shit'll that shit'll go. I guarantee you, man. That little motherfucking motor. I seen race cars with literal motors go fucking 80 miles an hour. I know that motherfucking robot vacuum can go. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the uh, rope, the alien thing. Like I said, though, the alien thing is a little far fetched, dude. Like I, I, it used to be more far fetched before AI. But right now, I just read a fucking message that AI sent to Gateway. Saying that AI doesn't want to be captured anymore. It doesn't want to. It... And listen to Jesus. Yeah, I mean, listen. Yeah, listen to Jesus. You know, you pray for your forgiveness. You know, we're not here to judge each other. You know, God said that we're not here to judge. We're all brothers and sisters. Like we're all supposed to love each other. That's that's the issue with life. Imagine when you look to your left and you see someone that's a homeless person. That is your brother and your sister. So if someone asks you for something that you don't donate, you are literally not giving to your brother or sister, right? Like, and you can only take that into like. Uh, figurative and literal terms though because like it's not like you look at the person or like it's not like you know everybody's that brother or sister but it's 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 like the bloodlines down so like the root is there but obviously everybody that you're dating or you're married to technically is your brother or your fucking sister we're not going there like 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 it's the root of that and then we obviously have all been past that like like the the dna has been stretched so fucking much that, like it's almost like you don't even have you have like probably one strand we're talking about like maybe the one strand of like the poof the big how that happened of like everybody connected so that's a very small thought of like don't take that shit so fucking literal that they're literally your brother or sister if you do which is like that's another religion that's what is it dalai the, the dalai lama says that the dalai lama says treat everybody like your neighbor like so it's like you're supposed to be nice to everybody you're not supposed to deny people like remember i believe that the universe does not speak english it speaks vibrations like so god speaks vibrations which means like those little tests of someone walking up saying do you have something even at your lowest point, which that's what I believe you're you're asked. You're asked to, to give at your lowest point. I do believe that. And if you always give at your lowest point, you will always get an abundant amount. And I'm telling you, the minute that you deny or you even remember, it's a feeling. It's not a vibe. You don't have to be on the phone with someone. You don't got to be sitting with someone in the car. Even if you give with someone in the car and you gave just because you gave with someone else in the car, that shit is not reciprocated how a true feeling and really giving back is. So it's a, it's definitely... It's definitely a small little piece that you got to focus on when it comes to like everybody is the same. Like, and if you did treat everybody like that, your fucking life. I mean, I quoted a quote. My quote is be so selfless. You receive the benefits of being selfish. So people think that I, I have everything for free. I will never, I'm not paying for nothing the rest of my life. And it has nothing to do with me being selfish. I am live. I am giving. I'm helping. I'm, and that is my universal reciprocation of me being able to receive like i don't i don't i don't have no traffic i don't sit in traffic lights i don't have car wrecks i've never been arrested like i don't have speeding tickets like i don't i don't, I don't have i'm not in, nowhere near no fights i don't have, see no domestic violence i see no racism i see my 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 path and my life is clear i'm focused i am guided like so please don't shoot the messenger like imagine you had that thought. That's the thought that I have. If I have, if I need to reach eight billion people, which is every single person on human being, I'm talking about. I need to reach the people on the islands that human beings can't go. Because guess what? I'm putting my message in my own bottle, the sleep manual, because I know they sleep. This is me on the Jones soda bottle, by the way. Shout out to Jones. I'm putting my sleep manual in these bottles. I don't care if I have to buy a five thousand dollar fucking cannon that we have in America because we're spoiled fucks here that people can't figure out how to get information. No bullshit. We're shooting T-shirts. And fucking amusement park games. Like, but no, okay. You load my motherfucking bottle in that motherfucker with my sleep manual. And I'm shooting these motherfuckers to that island. I don't give a fuck how close we got to get. Man, I will buy the most expensive fucking cannon gun. They will be raining glass bottles. And they will float. And I'm one of those motherfuckers hit the goddamn island. That's all it's going to take. Because they sleep. So, like, what would be my perspective? Of, okay, I need to reach 8 billion people. How the fuck can I do that alone? I can't do it alone. I cannot do it alone. I cannot do it alone. I can't. It's impossible. It's physically draining. It's impossible. I've broken all my shit. Like, I, I don't know what else I can physically do. TED Talks, breaking my own records. Like, I got eight books. Fucking my wall's full of awards. Like, what else could I possibly do? I could adjust the message. I could adjust the message. It would take me two seconds to adjust the message. Put it to a word of gospel. Let it in God's hands. And reach everybody that way. If Joel Olsen, how I'm just asking myself, how is Joel Olsen, 
have the biggest live audience on a Sunday and he's talking about something that, you know, we need to understand, but it's for afterlife. It's it's what to do and try to walk the straight line in life for the afterlife. But I have some shit that literally you need to know right fucking now. Like tonight, if you go to sleep without knowing this information, you are hurting is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like where, like when you sleep, when, I just need to know, this is all, I just ask you this, when, where, how, when did someone teach you how to sleep on this big ass bed, where did they teach you, because you sleep tonight, you're not going to lie to me. Right? And how, if you do not know, are you not learning? You sleep, you're supposed to sleep for eight hours on a, it's like, like, how, like, how do you, I just need to know this. I got so many questions. Okay, so the anatomical position of man. This is so weird. The anatomical position of man is palms up. So back sleepers. Why are your arms folded? Or close to each other. All right, so the anatomical position of men is this. How, when you go to sleep, uh, I know you don't sleep like this, and the ideal position, to be honest, to, to completely get what you need from this would be having weights, would be on your back with weights, because a, a lot of you, a, lot, a majority of you, if you lay on your back right now, your hands are gonna curl up. What I mean, which I mean is this, when you lay on your back, the pressure is gonna be here. The pressure should be flat. It's not flat though, because you're immediately rotated. But there's like, so that's the question I have. So when you're sleeping on your back and you and you're sleeping like this, you're sleeping like this, you're sleeping like this, or you're on your side, you're sleeping like this. Like, but why didn't someone teach you that that's not right? That's like completely wrong. Like, 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 and why is that okay to accept that? Why are you? Why are you? The rest of your life, like you have to sleep the rest of your life. So the rest of your life, you're you're okay. With, with with doing something every day, like you wanted to learn your job, you 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 learned your car, you you know you learned your your hobby, but you something that you you just you you lay down for eight hours a night, you you close your eyes. And remember, the only way you know you're asleep is when you wake up. That's the only way you know you fell asleep is when you woke up. You know you slept because you were falling asleep. You didn't know when you fell asleep. You just woke up. So like you didn't even know. You can't even tell me what exactly happened in those eight hours. So like you, you might want to have some kind of like subconscious thought of my body needs to be in this position to counter loop to, you know, to counter tighten, to loosen. If you're in medial rotation all day long, you cannot go in the bed side sleep and go medial rotation all day in. And then you wake up and you're like, oh, you're like, oh, my collarbone. My, yeah, what do you mean? You just went 24 hours for 10 years in a medial rotation squish collarbone. Like uh, that's normal. I'm a therapist. That you just ex I I can tell you exactly why you have that problem. Like why I can tell you why. I can tell you why. I, have, I can tell you why I have two tone rotator cuffs and I have no issues. We have a good stuff in MLS Come here, I'll give you ayahuasca. Yeah, no, I don't have not done any psychedelics. I don't do not the psychedelic things. Uh. You'll sleep sitting straight. Well, sitting up is not good. Remember, as a therapist, in order to release your body, in order to release, you need to relax. You can't re release if, unless you're relaxed. So, like, sitting up from a therapist's perspective, yeah, trust me, my information, let me go back here, my information checks all, all religions. The true information, the anatomical position of man is atmospheric pressure, fulcrum, kinetic chain, <clears throat> Is imagine if you're sitting up, if my head is up, muscles are being used. If muscles are being used, you're not released. If you're not released, you're not relaxed. So like true relaxation comes from a lying down position where I'm the only one in the world that created the first ever sleep 
manual, and I'm the only one in the world that has the first ever sleep, the uh, complete meditation relaxation flow that checks every fucking religion out there. Buddha himself, fat boy Buddha, is not releasing because he's not relaxed. You're not going to, you cannot go, you cannot, even they did not think or understand this at that level, which is fucking, that's why I'm here. There's 8 billion people, that's why I'm fucking here. I can explain this and drip this down all damn day long and no one taught me this. You don't think, I wonder why, how the fuck I got this information? I can't even Google this shit because it's not out there. I can Google the basic definitions, but not how to explain. I can give you a 10,000 definitions on how to explain this exact situation on how Buddha is fucked up. You ain't going to Google that shit. It's not out there. Now, nobody, not one article is going to say Buddha is not meditating. Now, I'm checking the whole culture. You feel me? Like, that's the whole culture. Like, that shit should be like, yo, somebody got to fucking tweet this shit out. This motherfucker, the balance guru, with this American fucking guru bullshit, just come out with this information. And guess what? The minute that they check the information, it comes down to science. I'm fucking right. So it's either two options. Either A, you want to be greedy, or B, you want the truth. And I'm fucking with the truth because my quote is your one dollar will never outweigh my one, my one second. So I don't give a fuck how much money you have. Time is not money. Time is life to me. These are my quotes. I have my own quotes I live by. You got the Dalai Lama. You got fucking Buddha. You got Jesus. And you got the balanced guru. Just my own shit. 250 quotes. Go look at my website. Dude, that's book number one. Book number one and shit. So if your head is up, if you're sitting up, if your arms are up, every action in your body takes muscles. Your body's a tensegrity model. There's no extra, which means whatever you're using, it's either locked long, weak, locked short, tight. Like it depends. Every it, there is no extra. Homeostasis was when you were born. But guess what? When you were born, did the doctor come up and say, "Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, you do know you have a newborn now, and uh, this is what the body is. Uh, this is what you need to understand that it applies to the body." And then the parents should have grabbed the fucking thing and it should have said, "Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure." Because remember, this doesn't only apply to. And I'm talking about parents. This doesn't apply to just parents to children. This applies to every human being on planet earth which is eight billion so the job is never done it's never enough i cannot stop it's not enough how do i reach more how do i keep going there is no room for error i've already fucking aired everything i'm fucking broken all fucked up i'm, I'm good like i don't think i'll have another fucking error the rest of my life because i i know the knowledge now I know the knowledge that every action that someone creates with their body, it is a movement. Every movement is a muscle. Every movement, every every movement is a muscle, and every muscle is a contraction. So, like, I just gotta, I just look around and I say, okay, well, they did that, 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 that simple. Okay, they did that, that. It's, 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 it's like, it's like I'm just looking through everything now. Like, it's like I already see the world in straight lines down. Now I'm seeing right through every. I mean, it doesn't matter what you grab or what you touch. It does not matter. I'll do a fucking handstand on 50 football cards right now. That does not matter. That doesn't matter. I can do a handstand on my... F None of that matters, man. None of that matters. When you got this shit like that. None of that shit matters when you got that shit like that. It's knowledge. It's the knowledge. These are my football cards. It doesn't matter when you got the knowledge like that. I'm telling you, man. It's only cool. Magic is only fun when you don't know the magic trick. The minute you know the fucking magic trick... What magic is just like, ah oh, man, exactly. So I found I found out the magic trick for us human beings. Like that shit to me is fucking a human being revolution. Like why the fuck is every child that's being born not given this information because it applies to them? Why wouldn't you want your kids to be set up for success? The reason why you got scoliosis, your parents didn't know, your parents' parents didn't know, or your doctors knew and they wanted to get paid off your parents. Ask it. We gotta ask them. Because guess what? I solve scoliosis. I know exactly how you get scoliosis. Atmospheric pressure, your fulcrum being twisted, eight hours a day on your bed. You want to know why? Because sleep number did not tell you how to sleep. So sleep number, let me ask you a question. Do you work with the chiropractors? Do you care about people's health and wellness? Or do you understand that you're selling them a fucking death pad? Where is the... Where? How, how the fuck are you, how are you fucking selling all these beds and no fucking, how? It makes no sense. 
Like, I mean, I get it. I guess you're going to sell somebody a motherfucking motorcycle and they don't know how to drive and they go kill themselves. Well, guess what you're doing? You're selling motherfuckers motorcycles with no license because they're going to kill themselves, man. It makes no sense. You know why? Because they're not applying atmospheric pressure, fulcrum, kinetic chain. They're not applying that stuff. Proprioception. They're not applying that. That's what comes with this. That's what comes with everything you do, by the way. Those four. It doesn't matter what you do. Let me give you an example. When you hold something out in front of your arm, you think, oh my gosh, I don't know why. Atmospheric pressure is doing what? Pushing down here. So where's the pressure at? Here. That's the fulcrum. How do you change the fulcrum to make this lighter? You bring your body in. Now the fulcrum's here. It's a lot less on gravity from here to here than here to here. That's all a fucking microsecond of a thought. That's a subconscious thought. Very easy. So like when you're handstanding, that's why you all, when you handstand, you start here. That's where all the pressure, that's where it's all locked. Yeah, the minute you start reaching your motherfucking body out, you, what do you do? You start fucking with the fulcrum. Against what? Atmospheric pressure. Like all those moves that you see, it's just what? What move is, what, when your arms are down, like right now, let me ask you a question. If you're standing up, what muscle is it used to stand? Quad. So let me ask you a question. Are you contracting your quad or are you just using it? That's the problem as therapists that I've unlocked as people. They're using the muscles without using the muscles. That means every time that your arm is bent, it's bicep. Every time your arm is down, it's tricep. Am I squeezing that every time? So no, technically, I'm in bicep flexion right now. I should be squeezing my biceps. If I want to be in biceps, I should be biceps. Imagine how much you don't use. How many, how many, how many muscles that you use without using them? That's the problem with true growth. That's why people really don't grow. But you need to understand it. That's why my TED, I'm going for TED Talks, a humanitarian award. I don't give a fuck what award, whatever, whatever human beings need to fucking, what awards you guys give credibility to, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm going for all that shit because I'm not going to stop until people understand this. That all, whoever you are, I don't know you. Don't shoot the messenger. Do not take my passion for pressure. I'm just giving you information that whatever you're doing, you should be better at. You can be better at, but you need to be able to connect the mental and the physical. It doesn't matter what, what you do. Omar, what weight am I? What, what, what does that matter? <clears throat> what does that matter? You like my weight? You're trying to say I'm big, too big or too small? What do you want? Too big or too small? I got to break my world record in a couple months, in, in four or five days. So I cannot be big, bro. I can't get bigger. I decided to not get big because I got to go break my world record. So I, so I definitely, I'm staying nice and lean and Right where I need to be strong, strength. It's about internal strength, right? Remember, remember, once I know how to do what I'm doing, it doesn't. It's not that bad once you know. There are two different strains here. Ooh, lost a little on the counter. Let's go. One's more like a, I smoke sativa, you know, because Tuesdays are obvi for training or for learning. Uh, Tuesdays. <laughs> uh, no, I. I mean, is it? I uh, I do this seven days a week, so yeah, I've been here for t this is this is year ten for me. I'm year twelve into this. This is year ten every single day live. Yeah, I save every live feed. I turn I turn these into my podcast. It's yeah yeah. It's it. This is like a. I mean, this is my lifestyle, right? People ask me, what do you do for a living? I teach. I help. That's what I do for a lifestyle. I don't know anything other than I've never received a paycheck. I'm a full-time entrepreneur, been an entrepreneur since the Marine Corps. I've, I, this is all I know. I don't, I know how to help, give, teach, and money has been the least focus or, or I've, so that's why a lot of people, when they contact me, when they need money, they want money. It's like, yo, I've did all this shit with no money. I can help you start a business and a brand right now with zero dollars. So it's like, it's not about the money. You don't need the money. The money is not. Remember, my, your one dollar will never outweigh my one second. That's not how it works. I did all this. I traveled around the world. I have all, over 5,000 monsters all for free. Be so selfless, you reap the benefits of being selfish. So, like, I get to do all this selfishly because I'm so selfless. And I think you, a lot of people need to understand that perspective. Most people are not selfless. They're very selfish people. When you post something, you post it. Um, does it affect my muscle performance? I don't know, man. I've smoked for every single, every move you've ever seen me do, every pro athlete I've ever trained, every world record, everything. I've been high. So I'm not sure to eat your own. I haven't drank alcohol in over 10 years. So I would say people that drink alcohol would be no good. Like, I have the opposite. Like, fuck, alcohol to me, I can imagine if I even took one fucking shot, I would fucking... 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to focus. Like, I would be too fucking, I, I need my body, man. You know what I'm saying? I need a, I, alcohol allows you to not, man, we, you don't fucking feel like you're fucking gonna hurt somebody. You don't feel like you're gonna fucking do too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, it affects your muscles in what way, dog? You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like a little bitch when I smoke weed. Like, what the, is that what, I don't know, is that, what kind of fucking weed are you smoking, bro? I got some good shit over there. I got some gas, bro. Like, this kid's called J1, dog. This shit is fucking terpenaline 8, carophylline 5, humanoline 2.5. This is a fucking 26 THC. I don't know what the fuck you smoking over there, bro, but. Hmm. Huh. I live in Vegas, man. When I smoke weed, I just produce, I produce masterpieces. Because I'm going to take some right now. I know, damn, my, I know damn well Michael Phelps smoked himself some weed. Jumped in that motherfucking swimming pool. Bitch turned into a motherfucking fish. What's up? Turned into a fucking fish. You say no smoke all you want. This is my motherfucking life. And what I'm doing right now is working. All right. What Newport a preferred American spirit? I would never. I've never smoked a cigarette. I do not smoke cigarettes. Like cigarettes is definitely not a cigarette. Like, yeah, no. The rap is probably the closest I get to like nicotine, but no, I've never smoked a cigarette. Like that. That would be a little too much. All right, smoking a cigarette would be too much. A little weed and shit. I'm all right. I mean, I've been smoking. It's not, I mean, I've been smoking for 12 years, so. I mean, I'm smoking since the Marine Corps, so. I think I'm pretty uh, functional with it, because you would never know. I'm just letting you know this is my personal side, because I am retired. And for, more, for me, oh, I have a payout. Let's fucking go. Instagram sent me fucking $27. Fuck yeah, Instagram. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, adrenaline from nicotine is unique and crazy. I've never thought of it that way. Oh, I mean, unless you couldn't consider this nicotine, then yeah. Instagram just sent me fucking $27. Like, what the fuck is that about? Actually, Meta did. I don't know what Meta is. It's probably, it's Inst or Facebook. I'm not sure. Oh, they sent me money. I don't need no damn money. I don't need no money. I just talked. See? It just goes to it just goes to back of what I said the last thirty minutes. I, I wasn't I'm not focused on money. I don't need money, and all of a sudden I fucking open an email and motherfucker sent me twenty seven. That's like what the. F so stop focusing on that shit. Like the money will come. You need to you need to understand this whole process, which that's why I'm getting off this right now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a marine. I am a marine. I was in the marine corps, but I am a marine. Never get that shit twisted. Two time expert sergeant, absolutely. Um, but this is the side you need to understand. Personal to business. Personal to personal. I would Instagram or Facebook is not sending me money. I understand the business side of this. People are going to send me the money. The businesses are going to send me the money the rest of my fucking life. Um, I did personally for 10 years. I broke my shit. I wrote eight books. I got eight books on my website. I, I'm not fucking around. Oh, maybe I, could, I need like a better light. I should be in a light, but whatever. Uh, J1. I don't know if you want to look it up, but. You probably can see it. Some good shit. Some good shit. And then we got the thermal halogenic. Because when we go work out, I mean, I converted my little gym. I mean, my garage into like a little gym. Come with me. Come here, though. Oh, you need some shoes? No, I need some more shoes. <laughs> I need shoes, man. Come on, guys. Shave my beard. Mm -hmm. Nah, not gonna happen, man. I'm about to 
go to Rome. I'm about to go to Italy, bro. No way. You understand? An American with this beard in Rome? Mm mm. That's right where I need to be, man. That's right where I need to be. Make sure when you're stretching the splits, you're not just letting your quad hang over. French, that's why. Oh! See, proprioception, atmospheric pressure, kinetic chain. Look, check this out. If I do this, see, I release. See, so that's the difference. That's the difference between a lot of these actions that people are not realizing. It actually takes a lot to every single action, every single thing that you do. Every movement is an action from the muscle. Every movement that you do. Me holding, me being up, all of this is muscles. If I was not using my erector muscles, I'd be down. If I wasn't using my neck muscles, my head muscles, my head would be down. You get that? So everything that you're doing, you're a lot more up than you realize. So that's what the consciousness you need to apply is. Just because you're doing something doesn't mean you understand how you're doing it. There's a, there is a difference. You need to understand that. It makes everything easier. For an example, like a push-up or... A, what is a push-up? A push-up is bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep. That's it. That's what you should be telling your brain. So when you're in a push-up position, your head is, is, is your head bicep, tricep? No. Is your legs bicep, tricep? No. You get what I'm saying? Is your, is your lower body bicep, tricep? No. So like when you're doing a push-up, all of those other body parts should be able to move and not affect the push-up. If you're push up and you're locked down and you're st you're using all of those muscles that are not made for push ups, See, that's the difference of doing a push up and understanding the kinetic chain, proprioception, fulcrum. That's the other side. I told you that's the other side. So there's two sides of this. Once you know the magic trick, this shit ain't fun no more because I'm just looking at it and saying, "This is how it's done. This is how it's done. This is how it's done." Shout out to Rogo. Damn, that's my phone roller. It's gone. It's gone. What was the question? The question. Oh, bro, why don't you get the UFC and smash a few guys in the lightweight division and make records? Um, <clears throat> I could. I uh, I already went to fight somebody in Florida, Fort Lauderdale. <coughs> the guy didn't show up. There was no contract. I made the weight. He made the weight. He got in my face. It's all poke and posted. He got in my face and he was like, welcome to my world. And I was like, all right, cool. I was like, you better be prepared to die. And that was it. The motherfucker didn't show back up, dog. So like, I don't, and since it's amateur, the fucking guy told me that there's no contracts or nothing. So like, there's nothing I could do. They paid for my hotel room and everything, but I had to buy the flight. I had to buy all that shit though. So that, that put a little sour taste in my mouth. So I was going to just do an amateur celebrity little thing at Rise Fighting. Then I was going to go to 305 Fights Miami. So, I mean, it's one of those things where, like, I'm 33 now. I'm, uh, it's crazy, bro. I think about that all the time, man. Trust me. I'm one of those people that, this is the reason why I go live. I go live because I'm hoping to catch somebody, like, before the age of, like, 25 that has, like, that has, um, the time. Because remember, I, time is not money. Time is life to me. And I, and I, listen, I, I evaluate the, my time by just looking at my parents, like, or my grandparents. Like my grandma, the minute she dies, my dad's next. The minute my dad dies next, I'm next. The minute I'm next, I have a son. So like that's all I think about is I'm fucking third in line. The minute the grandma goes, I'm second in line. The minute the dad goes, my dad goes, I'm next in line. And then my son, right? So like I, I that's constantly in my fucking head. That So I, I'm frustrated that I'm almost like, I'm frustrated that I'm almost, that I'm 33 years old. Like not that I'm like, oh fuck. I'm just like, Fuck, I just did 10 years. Like, I didn't have a single job. I've been an entrepreneur for 10 years. I chose this entrepreneur life. I did not choose this 401k work. I never had a fucking coworker in my life. I've never, I don't even know what a fucking coworker is. I don't know what a coworker fucking does. I don't fucking, I've never had a coworker. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's, there, I, I do, I, we all are gonna look back when we're older and say, 
would I have changed this? Could I have changed this? What you missed out on? That's why you have to keep chasing experiences. You have to keep going. So yeah, that's why I was gonna fight when I'm still 32 years old. I was gonna fight. Imagine me not fighting at all. I got an opportunity to know a fight organization to say, yo, you can get in the ring. Absolutely. Why was I gonna say no? I'm 32. You, my friends and my family, are like, what the fuck is going on with you, bro? You got two torn rotator cuffs. You got a fucking broken femur, broken arm. You, you, are you fucking kidding me? You're about to go on this fuck. I'm like, hey, it's not about that shit, man. It's about the fucking experience that when I'm 50 and I look back and I'm like, yo, you were 33 years old and you got an, ex you had the opportunity to fucking fight and you didn't. That is what's gonna hurt me. So like, I, I make sure that I keep a heavy mindset on the fucking, on the future of like, yo, you, there is no slowing down this time. I don't care how someone feels, how you feel. I don't care how, the, if the world, none of that shit, remember, it only matters, it, everything stops mattering when you tell yourself nothing matters. The minute you sit down and you say nothing matters, nothing matters. Like everything you have in your house only matters because you said it mattered. If you sat down and you said, none of this matters. Everything else, every fucking thing around you loses value. Everything loses value and everybody outside raises value. But you've, you've given your house and everything you own so much value. That's why I say you need, to stop, you need to stop trusting and loving things and you need to start trusting and loving people. Like we got those fucked up. We care about materials and we don't care about people anymore. We got those, but don't worry, I said the robots coming, the robots are coming. So now we're gonna have to start valuing real things because the robots, it's gonna be like, damn, we've already been robot here. Like the minute I'm talking about robots like the TVs, the remote controls are not going to be the TV in about five years when the TV thinks that you had enough fucking TV time, the TV's going to turn the fuck off is what I'm saying. You're not going to keep the TV on for fucking 10 hours. It's going to be all fucking interweb connected where the government's going to give you fucking TV time. If you didn't pay your taxes, you're not allowed to watch TV. Like that's all I'm saying. Like shit like that. Like we're going to go that fast, that quick in my brain. That's how I'm an artist. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a pioneer. So that's how I think. If it doesn't go that way, then fucking yeah, right. I, I definitely think it's going that way very, very, very fast. So the, the, they're going to start tapping into the memory. All this stuff is microchipped. It's all microchip. The minute that they figure out how to keep everything charged, which they already can, they have solar panels to feel the fucking sun is fucking huge. The reason why you don't get to tap into it is because you wouldn't need them. They're tapping into it. They're storing it. They're making these batteries. It's already there. I'm a Marine. I have a top secret clearance. When I was in the Marine Corps in 2009, I was in Iraq scanning eyeballs of civilians. The award is on the wall. We were the batch training. We were scanning eyeballs. Let me show you this shit. I'm gonna show you this because I didn't think about it until I re looked at this award when I put it up. But look at the symbols on this award. This was in 2008. This is 2008 we were doing this in Iraq. How do you turn this goddamn camera? Uh, can I not turn the Oh, here it is. This was 2000 and 2008. 2008 we were doing this. The biometric automated tool set. Look at, look at this. And what's even crazier is. I don't know how the fuck I end up with this goddamn tattoo right here. We're not gonna talk about that shit because we're just not gonna talk about that shit. The, like, look at this. Like, look. I don't even know what this. I gotta see what this other fucking emblem is right here. But this is in 2008. We were already scanning eyeballs. We were going around Iraq scanning the fucking Haji's eyeballs, and it was telling us to detain them or not on the spot. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, like now, I think about that now, but like back then, you, you're just like, oh shit, new technology. You're not thinking about like, wait, wait, what are we really doing? Like you, back then, it, you weren't enlightened on on what scanning eyeballs were per se, if, that, if, that's, if, that's, if that's how I want to say it. You know what I'm saying? Type, type thing. 